<laughs> no problem. Both of them are. No beer or beer is beer allowed. That's totally your call. No beer is allowed. Okay, beer is allowed. Um, for a lot of people, you won't need an introduction, but for everybody who might not know you around here, who's going to say this? Give us a little background. I am Deface Dean Stockton. Um, my name is Dean Stockton. Um, <laughs> my artist name is Deface. I am a urban artist, street artist. I just prefer the word artist. Um, I've been doing this form of art for like 20 years. I started as a bridge between sort of the, my love of graffiti and my love of art and my love of graphic design. And I just wanted to put something into the streets. It started as a humble sticker. It developed very quickly into a poster, bigger posters, mostly illegally done. Um, paintings illegally done. Just trying to like interact with the public in a different way that kind of used the idea of graffiti and the footprint of graffiti, but it used different tools. And that became known as street art many years later. I was lucky enough to be one of the very early people to do it, one of the first. And I'm privileged to travel the world with my art and paint in amazing spaces and places, exhibit my work around the world, both outside and inside. And one of these places is a Luther. So that brings me to, that was perfect. Um, so how did this project come about? Um, how did this project come about? This it's isn't New York or Los Angeles or one of those kind of places. No. So how did it sort of materialize? Well, I get a lot of invites to go to those places. So I get invited a lot to go to California and New York and I love America. I really, really do. And uh, it's always been a passion of mine. I've always looked at it with very rose tinted spectacles. I've always dreamed and imagined living there and I still do and I hopefully will. And it's nice to get that offshoot, which is come to this place, come to somewhere I've never even heard of. So I was like, where? I had to. Well, that was one of my questions. Had you ever even heard of Eleuthera yeah, before? Never heard of Eleuthera. Right. Never heard of it. it. Didn't. It sounded more like a sexually transmitted disease <laughs> than, it, than it did a place. <laughs> so um, I had to Google it, and when I saw the the pictures of it, I was like, wow, what? That's paradise. You know, what a great opportunity. What an amazing privilege and that came about from Joel and uh, he was like I'd like to get you over there I'd like you to to come and leave a mark it'd be great for the community it'd be great to try and instigate some kind of art trail here and I was like cool yeah all excellent. I need to do is get there and then we'll paint we'll find <laughs> something so right. it's really simple um, so the design you did down in Tarpon Bay you had no idea when you came what you were going to be creating on what, or did you? I had no idea what I was going to be painting on when oh. I arrived. But I'd worked on a couple of things specifically for here. And my work mainly involves the idea of romance, tragedy, loss, uh, heartbreak. And it's quite difficult when you're in paradise to, <laughs> to figure, you know, when you know you're going to paradise, to think, well, what is that? But that's actually quite ironically appropriate because you can come to paradise and still find hell. Um, you can come to paradise and still find heartbreak. And uh, that piece, I guess, is about that. It's about finding paradise, but still not finding solace. So the way it came out in the building, in the location, what do you think? Happy with it? It, it came out Love really it? well. No, it came out, really, came out brilliantly, yeah. I'm, I'm used to painting bigger walls, so um, it's actually really nice to not be stressing out over painting a five-story mural, you know, <laughs> um, and spending five days slammed against the wall, twelve hours a day. So, it's, and you know, there was several times, and I will always carry these memories. I, I was painting that wall, and I turned around and I looked at that absolutely turquoise blue, clear sea, and thought, I'm just going to go and get in that sea right now. <laughs> I mean, that's like you can't get better than that. You know, I was like, oh man, I need a coffee. Normally at this time, I'd have like, a coffee to pick me up. And I'm like. I'm just going to go and swim in that sea. That's going to be the best <laughs> pick me up there is. That's true. Um, so, do you think that other artists, you've started this, so do you think that other artists like yourself would jump in an opportunity like this? Need convincing? Because I, we do see it as a potential. And I mean, I did have a lady on Instagram in Deep Creek wrote me today and said, 
I want, well, actually two people. One was in Deep Creek and said, I'd love to have one of those. I want him to come over. And I sort of subtly explained that wasn't really possible. <laughs> and then another lady in Rock Sound wrote to me privately and said, oh, I'd like him to do something for me. And I had to tell her that. Yeah. <laughs> but do you think other artists... I, I, I would, I mean, the reason why I, I, I came here is A, because I wanted to, wanted to come here as, as a see what it's all about mm -hmm. and as an artist it's always intriguing to leave your mark in a place a lot of, you know normally as a tourist you go somewhere you take something away you don't go somewhere and leave something and I'm in a unique position where I travel the world and I leave something for the, for the public for the people right um, and other artists within this field are very much the same so I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't want to come here okay the idea is that I promote that idea and we organize an event that's regular and that there's a ongoing art that would be that would project be in Eleuthera and I really hope and I think with Bob and, and Joel that we can do that I agree so you were only here for what how many days um counting today and, and a good few of those were working five days five days what do you think of the island the people the the whole Five days experience. Well, I'll be honest with you, when I first arrived, it was a bit like being plonked down in the middle of Mars. For me, <laughs> I'm a city guy, born and bred London. I love being in cities. I love what is on my doorstep. And it took a moment of readjustment. And that first day, I was like, oh my God, this is wild. Um, obviously, completely beautiful. You know, there's, you can't deny that. Right. But... Outside of that, you suddenly realise that you're in a very small island, and with that comes all the things that are associated to that. It's like, oh, I can't get a paintbrush that I desire or require or like to use, and I can't get spray paint that I'd like to use, or you know, just very basic things. Right. Um, but once you get past that and you sort of, sort of understand and get in this zone, it's amazing. Yeah, I can imagine, I can see very very clearly see why people come here and don't go home. <laughs> a lot of that happens. Yeah, I can well imagine. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful, absolutely beautiful place and the people are lovely. Um, so yeah. So what's your next big project? Uh, from here I go back to Miami and for Basel. Yeah. I've got some work showing in that. And then a hot foot to London and I've got two projects that open within a week of, of getting back. They actually one opens the next day and one opens on the, on the Thursday. Uh, one is called No Commission, that's with uh, Swiss Beats and Bacardi, and that's a sort of an art fair, art project that combines music and art that's open to the public for free. Um, and then after that, I'm going to take a little moment for Christmas, which is a, right on the doorstep. Yep. And then that brings me into the new year, and there's numerous projects already lined up. Las Vegas for a huge mural, eight, 18 stories. That's going to be uh, probably middle of January. That um, would be something to see. 18 stories. 18 a stories, yeah. So it's a, that's the, the biggest one I've done so far. And some challenge. And then potential shows in Hong Kong, potential shows in, uh, in LA. Lots of murals already planned. So yeah. Excellent. Continuing. Well, I just want to put out for everybody out there that we're thrilled. Everybody who's seen it is thrilled. And it's been a real honor to watch you do it. And can't thank you enough. Thank you very much for, for being there to document it and thank you for everyone that brought me here and more importantly thank you to the public and the local people for making it absolutely enjoyable.